Hello and welcome back to our tutorial on how to create a basic process map using the TIBCO Nimbus Web Author Client. Today we'll be looking at roles and resources. So as we can see from the process we created last time, how to assign roles and resources, we first have to go to our resource tab. So here is our resource tab right here. And we can see all our central resources here. We've already got the TIBCO Nimbus Author here from previous. So we can add a further group name. So we just add web resources here and create that as a resource group. If we go under here, we can then add new resources in the top corner. So in this case, I'm just going to create a web author resource name. And we can add the additional information here. If you wanted to have a different display name or any further info, we can do so here. Just hit the Create Resource button, and there it is. It sits right there. And we can also create local resources in a similar way. So the local resources for the initial map we did are the Nimbus Administrator and the Resource Manager. So if we then open up our web processes, we can go to our web map and also add a new local resource here. And we'll just do Web Resource Manager here as an example. And also Web Nimbus Administrator. Now these positions will basically be the same when you're running Nimbus locally, but just for the sake of argument to show the difference between the web and the author client, we're going to create them as separate. So here we are, we've got our created resources. Now if we go back to our map by going back to processes and into our web processes and then go view our draft, you'll remember last, last time there was this who button here at the bottom of each of your processes. So if we hit this who button, we can then select from our resource library. We can drop down here to local resources if you prefer. But in this case, it will just be the web author. And we can just drag and add them in there. And there we go. And that's all there is to it. And we can add these further down. So say we wanted to do add our, add our local resource to our local roles. If we select the Who button here again, if we switch to local, we can then drag our web resource manager here. And that's all there is to it. So when it's fully done, it should, should look something like this. And it should end up looking something like this. As you can see, we've added all the resources as we've needed to. And we can scroll down and we can see all these. And if you need to edit any of these resources, if you just select the activity box and then go to this info tab up here info tab up here, you just scroll down and we can say choose to remove one of the resources that may not be done. We can move them up or down on the list or just remove them outright. And just hit the X button at the top there when it's done. And that's all there is to it. That's all there is to resources. So next time we will look further at styling our processes and how to promote them out through the web. So until then, thank you very much.